Hello, my friends. It's Miss V from the Popcorn Kit. Happy Taco Tuesday. I am here to share an all-time favorite with you, and it's called Cinderella. This is a beautiful story that has so many interpretations, and I hope that you enjoy the story. I've missed all of you, and I hope that you are having a wonderful day. You guys, did you remember to tell yourself that you are the greatest? I know you're telling yourself, but for me, would you please say, I am the greatest. Let me hear you say it. Say, I am the greatest. Yes, you are. You are the greatest. And Miss V says so. And everyone who loves you says so. Are you ready to get into this story? Because there's a certain little girl in this story who did not believe she was the greatest. And at the end of the story, it was confirmed that she is the greatest. Ready? Okay, let's go. Cinderella. Once upon a time, there was a young girl who lived with her widowed father. Eventually, her father remarried. His new wife had two daughters of her own. She was mean and spiteful to the young girl, and so were her daughters. They made the girl do all the housework eat scraps and sleep by the fireplace among the cinders and ashes. Because she slept in the cinders, they called her Cinderella. One day a letter arrived from the palace. All the women in the land were invited to attend a grand ball where the prince would choose a bride. Cinderella's stepsisters were very excited. Her mother was, excuse me, I'm sorry. Her stepmother was sure one of her daughters would marry the prince. She made Cinderella work night and day to make them as beautiful as possible. Cinderella washed and curled their dull hair. She cut and shaped their rugged nails. She stitched their ball gowns and she polished their dancing shoes until they were shiny. Cinderella longed to go to the ball herself, but her stepsisters just laughed. You? You go to the ball? The oldest stepsister said. But you don't even have a pretty dress. You, you go to the ball, laughed the youngest stepsister. How ridiculous. You are always covered in soot and cinders. Tears ran down Cinderella's face as she helped her stepsisters into their dresses and their jewels. At last they left for the ball and Cinderella sat alone by the fireplace and she cried and cried. If only I could go to the ball, she said through her tears, and be happy for just one night. I so wish that I could go. Cinderella had barely finished speaking when there was a sparkle of light in the dull kitchen, and there stood a fairy. Don't be afraid, my dear. I am your fairy godmother, the fairy said and you shall go to the ball. Cinderella stared in amazement at the fairy. Quickly, she dried her eyes. Really? Can I really go to the ball, she asked, barely daring to believe it. If you do as I say, all will be well, the fairy answered. 
I'm used to doing as I'm told, Cinderella sniffed. The fairy godmother told her to bring a pumpkin, four white mice, a black rat, and Cinderella hurried to the garden to pick a pumpkin, and she found four mice in the kitchen, and she caught a rat sleeping in the barn. With a wave of the fairy's wand, the pumpkin turned into a gleaming golden coach. Cinderella gasped in astonishment. It's beautiful, she said, but who will drive it? The fairy waved her wand again, and the four mice became four handsome white horses. She waved her wand a third time, and the rat turned into a tall coachman. How wonderful, Cinderella cried. But I can't go to the ball in these rags. And you won't go in rags, her, very, her fairy godmother cried. She waved her wand and Cinderella's rag turned into a beautiful ball gown. Glittering glass slippers appeared on her feet and Cinderella looked lovely. Now off you go, her fairy godmother said, but remember, all this will vanish at midnight, so make sure you are home by then. Cinderella climbed into the coach and it whisked her away to the palace. She had never been happier. Everyone was enchanted by the lovely stranger, especially prince who danced with her all evening. Cinderella enjoyed herself so much she completely forgot her fairy godmother's warning. Suddenly the palace clock began to strike at midnight. Boom! 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 Cinderella picked up her skirt and fled. The worried prince ran after her. Bong, bong, bong. She ran down the palace steps. She lost one of her glass slippers on the way, but she didn't dare stop. Bong, bong, bong. Cinderella jumped onto the coach and it drove off before the prince could stop her. Bong, bong, bong. On the final stroke of midnight, Cinderella found herself sitting on the road beside a pumpkin, four white mice, and a black rat that scampered across her feet. She was dressed in all rags and had only a single glass zipper left from her magical evening. Even if it was a dream, she said to herself, it was a perfect dream. Alice, the prince looked longingly at the long, beautiful glass slipper he had found on the steps. He could not forget the wonderful girl he had danced all night long with. I will find her, he said to himself, and I will marry her. So he took the glass slip slipper and set out to visit every house in the land. At last, he came to Cinderella's house. Her two stepsisters tried and tried to squeeze their huge feet into the delicate slipper, but no matter what they did, they could not get the slipper to fit. Cinderella watched as she scrubbed the floor. May I try, please? Cinderella asked. 
You, laughed the eldest. You didn't even go to the ball. Everyone may try, the prince said. Cinderella sat down and her foot slipped easily into the glass slipper. The prince took Cinderella in his arms. You're the one, he said. Will you marry me, please? Cinderella's stepmother and stepsisters were furious. It can't be her because she is just a servant. She's dressed in all rags. But at that moment, the fairy godmother appeared and turned Cinderella's rags back into the fabulous ball gown. Cinderella took the other slipper from her pocket. Yes, Cinderella said, Yes, it is me, and yes, I will marry you, much to the disgust of her stepmother and stepsisters. Cinderella married the prince the very next day and went to live in the palace. The couple lived long, happy lives together, and Cinderella's stepmother and her daughters had to do their own cleaning and they never went to another ball at the palace. The end. This is from A Treasure of Five Minute Stories. This is one of my favorite books. Cinderella is one of those stories where the ending is a beautiful ending. And there's so much to learn from Cinderella. I really wish that all of us will have happy endings. And I hope that all your wishes and your dreams and all your needs are met. Miss V loves you. And when you believe in yourself and when you have a destiny, Nobody can change your destiny. You know why? Because you are the greatest. Miss V loves you. I send you peace. I send you love. 